Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial. In this video, I'm, I'll be showing you how to downgrade the Samsung Galaxy S5 from Android 5.0 Lollipop back to KitKat. So the reason I'm going to downgrade is because since I updated to Lollipop, I've been having battery issues. For some reason, the battery drains a lot quicker than when I was running Android 4.4.2 KitKat. So I'm going to go back to KitKat. Another reason why I'm going to downgrade as well is I don't really like the whole white background when I go into settings. As you can see, it's all white and stuff. I don't really like it. Same with the dialer. I much preferred it when it was black. So um, to downgrade, it's a real simple process. So I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Um, first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to back up any important pictures or videos or any important files what you've got on your S5 because doing this will wipe the phone clean so you have been warned so once you've backed up everything the next thing to do is you'll need to download the KitKat firmware so to do that you'll need to go to your web browser on your PC and type in SAM firmware and click on the first link here Okay, so when you click on it, you will need to create an account with SAM firmware, I mean with SAM mobile, sorry. You will need to create an um, account. So just sign up, it only takes a few minutes and it's totally free. So once you sign up, just select your model number here of your Samsung Galaxy S5. So as you can see, we've got... Um, different options here we've got the galaxy note 4 note 3 there's just a list of different samsung galaxy devices so this works with other samsung devices so if you've got the note 4 running um lollipop and you want to downgrade back to kitkat you can do or if you've got the note 3 so or the samsung galaxy s3 so i've got the s5 and this is my model number here, Galaxy S5 SM G900F. So I'm going to select that, then hit search here. Okay, so the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to select latest. And here we've got a list of different countries. So you'll need to choose your country. So as you can see, this is the list. I live here in the United Kingdom. And my Galaxy S5 is the unlocked version. So I'm going to select the United Kingdom BTU. Okay, so I've selected that. As you can see here, now we've got all the latest firmwares here for my... Samsung Galaxy S5 BTU UK as you can see United Kingdom and here at the top this is the latest one which I'm currently running Android 5.0 but I'm going to go back to 4.4.2 and you can see the date for that is the 20th hold on July 2014 so I'm going to go ahead and download this one So you can just go ahead and select regular download. But I've already downloaded it. And I've stored it on my desktop here, as you can see. So what you need to do, once it's downloaded, it'll look like this. It'll be a zip file. Just right click on your desktop and create a new folder. and then drag and drop the stock firmware into your new folder and then just right click on it and select extract here because it's a large file it's over a gig it does take a while to extract so be patient
okay so it's almost done okay so it's finished extracting so what you need to do now is this tar file here you just need to drag and drop it onto your desktop like I've done there then you can close that folder down okay so the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go ahead and download Odin I'll leave a link to Odin in the description down below once you download Odin store it on your desktop it will be a zip file just right click on it and extract it and it will create a folder like this so remember it will be a zip file when you download it just right click on it extract it and it will create a folder like this and when you open it up this is how it will look okay next thing you'll need to do is put the phone into download mode but before I do that I'm just going to show you that this is Android 5.0 let me just show you all real quick about device Android version 5.0 okay so what you need to do now is just turn the phone off and put it into download mode so to put it into download mode press the volume down button along with the home button here and the power button on the side okay you should see a warning screen like this just press the volume up button once okay as you can see it says downloading so it's in download mode okay next thing you need to do is open up Odin on your desktop and now connect your phone to the USB cable okay so once you've connected your phone to the USB cable where it says ID come here it should be blue if yours is still grey that means you've not installed the Samsung drivers um, to, in, to install the Samsung drivers you'll need to download Samsung keys and install it once you install Samsung keys it will provide the Samsung drivers so when you next connect your, when you reconnect your phone back to Odin it will no longer be grey and it will be blue just like mine so I'll leave a link to Samsung keys in the description down below okay so next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to locate the firmware which you start on your desktop or wherever you start it so just select AP and then find the firmware where it is make sure it says home.tar on the end select it If it says not responding up here, that's perfectly normal, don't worry about it. It will remain like that for a few minutes. Okay, so you can see it no longer says not responding. And right beside AP here, you can see the firmware. KitKat firmware and it says home.tar.md5 on the end there okay so once it's blue up here and you've got the firmware there beside AP and that little box is ticked make sure nothing else is ticked except the box next to AP just go ahead and hit start 
and as you can see it's now starting to flash the firmware onto the phone and as you can see we've got this little blue bar down here the little progression bar so once that gets to the end um, the flashing process will be done we've also got one up here which is green once that gets to the end the flashing process will be done it does take a while so be patient guys also whilst it's flashing try not to accidentally unplug the USB cable because it can damage the phone so just be careful okay so I'll be back once it's almost finished flashing okay so it's almost finished flashing a few more seconds to go as you can see the little blue bar is almost at the end okay so it's finished the phone started to reboot and it now says pass whatever you do don't just don't unplug the phone keep it connected Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and close down Odin. Unplug the phone. And just wait for it to boot up. The first boot might take a while, so just be patient. Okay guys, it seems like it's stuck in a boot loop. So I'm just going to show you how to solve that real quick. So just take off the back cover. Just take the battery out. Put the battery back in. Put the cover back on. Okay, so we're just going to go into recovery real, real quick. So just press the volume up, the home button along with the power button until you until it takes you into recovery okay now use the volume down button on the side and go to where it says wipe data factory reset and just hit the power button here on the side and go down again to where it says delete all user data then hit the power button on the side until it says data wipe complete and where it says reboot system now just hit the power button
Now the phone should reboot. Hold on, it should boot up. Yep. And there we go. So I just set the phone up real quick. And as you can see we've got the black background back. Let's just check what we're running. Android version 4.4.2. KitKat. So there you have it guys. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to downgrade from Android 5.0 Lollipop back to KitKat. Um, at any time if you want to update back to Lollipop. You just go back into your settings here. Go to about device and select software update and you can update back to Lollipop at any time. So yeah, this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to downgrade the Samsung Galaxy S5 from Android 5.0 Lollipop back to KitKat. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tutorial videos. It's your boy the android doctor. I'm out. Deuces.